Hi everyone! In this review, I'm gonna explain how to travel responsible. I'm gonna share with you my experience in Ireland. First of all, you need to know that ecotourism is synonym with environment, nature, wildlife, holidays, and more. First of all, we can talk about the accommodation. In Ireland, there are many green accommodation to choose. This accommodation consume less energy. They choose to use local products for their menus. And you can taste a delicious breakfast with all fresh and local ingredients. After, there are so much eco-friendly activities to do all along the trip, as fishing, go whale watching, or kayaking. You need to know that in Ireland, the countryside is very beautiful. There are a lot of lakes, mountains, beaches, and cliffs along the west coast. Some of these cliffs are among the highest in, the, in Europe. You can see a lot of castles too. Ireland is a country with a big history. So now, I'm going to talk about my five-day trip. I live in Metz, and as you know, Ireland is an island, so it's difficult to get there without flying. But if you want, there are some boat options from France to United Kingdom. Once I get in Ireland, my first question was again about the transport. And I think the public transport, as bus or subway, is the best option. You can rent your own car if you want, but honestly, the public transport are clean and you can talk with people inside the bus. And that's cool. After an hour day inside the transport, the only thing I can do is shopping in Dublin. Even if it's quite hard to avoid products wrapped in too much plastic, in Dublin there are a number of shops that offer zero rest option, and that's cool. For the first night, you can sleep in one of the many responsible accommodations as Airbnbs or hotel. Ireland is famous for its nature, and there are lots of incredible places too for a hike for the second day. Hoth or the Wicklow Mountain, which aren't too far if you stay in Dublin city. After a sporty day, all I want to do is eating. I can suggest so many local food, which is very healthy and filing, as Guinness pie and fries up with sausage, and maybe eggs and beans, and more. For the night, a camping is the best option. The third day, I was tired of hiking, and all I wanted to do was chill next to the beach. And you need to know that the beaches in Ireland are incredible and have so much naturally raw beauty. A good walk on an Irish beach is the real treat for those land. And if the weather is good, I can suggest a picnic on next to the manch. Sometimes, some beaches allow the wall camping. You need to try, a little bit scary but so relaxing. For the day 4, after the night on the beach, what's better than some fr that surfing on the north and west coast, alone or with professional? You need to try it. After this, you can take a boat because there are a heap of various smaller islands dotted around Ireland's coast that's absolutely much visit. And for the last night, I can suggest the famous Bubble, a green accommodation. It's a little bit expensive, but you give it to go, even if you have to learn. In the morning, after a good sleep, the landscapes are gorgeous and the breakfast is included into the final price. About the final day, day 5, in the morning, you can visit an old castle, but there are leads of great spots to feed you third of folk knowledge. And after this, it's time to go back home with so many new experiences. The last thing I can tell you is about the food. If you're eating at a restaurant, I can recommend you to sit down to eat your food so you avoid unnecessary packaging and you can take your container with you. I hope that you liked my trip experiences and you can become a sustainable traveler if you want. So do it and don't think.